Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you should you take financial advice from broke people or people that you know are not good at financial advice themselves. Now, I ascribe to the philosophy that um, you, you need a job and people who don't have jobs either are really, at this age, at mana source age, are either really smart or really dumb. So it's got to be one of the two. Either you were really great, you sold a company, and now you're just living at your home. But when you live with your parents in their basement, I think uh, then you can kind of figure out which one uh, Wedge might fall into. Um, one of the things that I'm going to go ahead and say, and I'm just going to be brutally honest, is the mana source is really good at playing for how can I say he's really good at convincing people to donate money to him and that is a skill and if he applied that skill just a tiny bit better I think he actually could get a ton more money so because of his laziness um, he's actually limiting himself he, he does have skill set so it's not that I don't think He's skilled. I know he is very skilled because somehow he was able to convince a community that is not wealthy in any aspect and that generally does not donate to donate him uh, a ton of money. That is a skill. That's a very salesperson. I could imagine Weds as a really good salesperson. Um, but, however, the issue that I really have here is they paid him, his donors paid him to not make videos because they paid him too much money. Uh, had he still had to make videos or to for ad revenue or whatever, um, he I don't think he would be as depressed. One of the things that making videos does is it makes you less depressed. I mean, I'll be quite honest, it's fun to do. Uh, and it was fun for the mana source at some time because we used to go on live streams together for hours and hours and talk about it. And even not on live stream, we would talk about it on our Facebook group and thing. At one point, he really did enjoy making magic videos to the point that he sold his Black Lotus. So I'll, I'll tell a story. He sold his Black Lotus uh, to continue making magic videos instead of getting a job. Now, did I think that was wise? No. Um, but... I think a lot of his actions and behaviors are a result of him needing money. But he actually has some skill sets that would be very useful in sales. You don't just raise $100,000 in donations overnight unless you have a certain skill set. I mean, no, not many people in the magic community can even write. I can't even raise $10 on Patreon a month. So, I mean, he far outclasses me and I make videos. So what many people are viewing as... Uh, a criticism on Weds is actually, I think, a very good strength. He's making $400, $500, and he doesn't do anything, and he's receiving it every single month. So imagine if he was doing something like Tolerian Community College, he could make $4,000, $5,000 easily, and I think at some point in time he was because people like to donate to people who are, you know, like the mana source. I'm not going to say what I think it is, but again, you can probably connect the dots here and that's great um, I mean that that is fantastic what what else could you really want in life than free money so the mana source has really good takes and I will say that I for the most part agree with him now politically I don't like him at all but on magic gathering he has rational and logical takes and very few people attack the take, they attack the person because of his previous background, which now makes it different. If I were him, I would get a part-time job or a full-time job and then do YouTube on the side. So it feels like a vacation to you. It just feels good to do YouTube. A lot of YouTubers have full-time jobs, and obviously I own multiple businesses. And it's fun. It's fun to make these. It's fun to make these videos because uh, it's it's interesting that even a hundred people. I know my viewership has dropped, and that's fine. And that's actually how I like it. 
Um, I have another channel that's you know gets the same amount of MTG line views that it used to, and that channel I appreciate um, as much as this one. But yeah, if I were to be quite frank with you, I don't see why he doesn't make the videos. Now I do have a gut feeling that it takes work to make videos. Yes, and it's easier to be depressed than to do work. Uh, and depression is one of those things that once you get into it, it's hard to get out. You know, you, you didn't do work today, so you don't feel, so you're too depressed to do work tomorrow. You're too depressed to do work tomorrow, so you can't do work today. That means this cycle, right? You got to do something to break the cycle. Uh, and I do wish him the best. I know I've been very critical of him in the past. And I think some simple things like sending the cards out that you said you would send out, I think that's helpful because then you got to go to a post office, you have to drive, you have to do activities. And um, the reason I have, I have two dogs now, I have a Shiba Inu, finally have a Shiba Inu, which is, you know, I've been waiting to adopt one for five years now, even though my company logo is a Shiba Inu. I have a Bengal, I have a dog. And the reason we have these is sometimes um, I own, a, it's the only company that makes money is my small marketing company. I own a meal company, a princess party company, and a, you know, photography. I own a bunch of companies, and a law firm even. And the one thing I, I take away is the dogs really keep everyone in my company like happy because every two to three hours we take them for a walk, we take them in the back. You know, if it's cold, we still walk them. So even getting a dog from the mana source, I can think it can save his life um, because, you know, your dog's always happy to see you and they need you. Um, the Shiba Inu is a she and my cat is a she. My cat, your cat doesn't need you as much, but my cat thinks she's a dog. And that's how I deal with life. You know, I'm depressed too, right? Like I, everyone gets depressed. I mean, life is not what we were promised as millennials, right? Hey, get your college degree. And now we're going to give you a really cool job. Not quite. So in my opinion, when you do have things that go, you do have, life is not easy for anyone. Like it's not supposed to be easy. And that's the fun part. It's difficult. You know, I, there were times that I thought I was going to go bankrupt. I had to buy my company back for $340,000. $340,000. In forty thousand dollars, and there were times that I just didn't want to kind of continue on. Like it was like you know I want to call it quits, but then you know you have dog, you have your employees, and you can't really let your employees down because one of my employees has two small uh, children, two daughters. Uh, one I think one is less than one years old, and the other one is like three or four. And that's what keeps you dry. That's what keeps me motivated is my employees and my pets and my dogs. And that's it. And honestly, last year was very successful. This year has been really, really good. I've been very blessed this year. And uh, the store that was bleeding money is no longer hemorrhaging money. I mean, it has probably slight profit or break even, which is really, really good for a store. Uh, and I found the sweet spot. It's good for a store because I keep the products I want to keep. So I'm sure if I sold the exclusive limited edition products or um, some of the figures I own that I've just decided to keep uh, as, you know, personal collection wise, um, it would actually be in a green. So our inventory has increased, even though we our expenses have not. So, yeah, I am... Um, very happy with life right now and I couldn't be more happy and I do want the mana source to get together I've always you know even though I've been incredibly critical of him I've always wanted him to return to back in the, that's all I wanted was everyone go back to the way things used to be when you used to make magic videos because you loved magic you weren't worried about how many people watched the videos you weren't worried about likes and I never asked you guys for likes and comments I never make videos asking you for patrons. I know my first link is a Patreon link, but I'm too lazy to even remove it. We get less than five, $5 in Patreon. I could care less. Uh, I, I, I used to have to ship stuff, and like Patreon cost me money because at one point in time, I was shipping unlimited cards in like large quantities of unlimited cards. 
which later would be like the worst shipment. You know, I think it was like called a legacy box or something. And I was shipped like someone like, I remember there was like swords of plowshares and dark. I, I, now I think about it. Yeah. Patreon definitely has lost me money through the years and especially hiring artists. And, um, I mean, we never recouped any amount of money, uh, from Patreon that we, uh, I spent, so I spent more money on Patreon than I received. And that's perfectly fine. And that's probably the way it should be, honestly, if, if you enjoy your fans. Anyway, hi, guys.